He's getting all hot. The cries of a baby filmed by the woman who wanted to adopt him, but ended up shaking him to death. Leland James Corkill was murdered by the woman who should have done everything to protect him, but a woman who, when she heard a baby crying in hospital, filmed herself reacting like this. And then I just stood up like that. I went, right, what happened? And he fell the floor. Laura Castle initially told police Leland James' death was an accident. An independent review of the case has found she also lied to social services about hitting him. Information she had anger management issues and was drinking six bottles of wine a week wasn't passed on. Had the adoption panel, had we known the full breadth, there's no doubt we would have been able to have considered the vulnerabilities and risks more effectively. And that's the conclusion of the report today. He was a happy, go lucky la la day. He was always laughing, always smiling. For Leland James's grandmother, the questions of how this could have happened have never gone away. He would have been better off staying with his mum. He would have been still here by now if he, was, he went to his mum. They should resign. They don't, so they just carry on. And then another, they ultimately, if another kid will be going to the same, another family could say something could happen again. I hope there is some justice for him, like, we want justice for the baby. I mean, they, don't, they can't defend themselves or anything, eh? They shouldn't go through it. For what happened to Leland James, Laura Castle was sentenced to life in prison. Agencies which should have shared information didn't. There was another child living in the home at the time, and the report says that following Leland James's death, that child was able to give a very clear account of what had been going on. The recommendations say that children in that situation need to be listened to. Just one more small change that could have made a difference. Whilst the review was very clear that this death wasn't preventable, um, there certainly was learning uh, that, that came out of this review. And that key learning for me is really around the need to seek out information, um, to, to challenge professionally uh, between agencies, uh, and to just to really try to get uh, behind uh, what is presented by individuals and uh, address any concerns. <clears throat> Laura Castle's lies mean we may never know exactly what happened to Leland James on the day he died, when so many young lives may depend on learning the lessons. Greg Milam, Sky News, Barrow in Finesse.